Hey there, Brendan Bailey, and I'm here right off the coast of Sanibel here in beautiful Southwest Florida. I'm here on board Plane to Sea, which is a 2023 Azimut 60 Fly, an unbelievably well uh, laid out boat. Come along as we walk through. We're gonna start here at the swim platform, obviously teak hydraulic swim platform, crew quarter with one bunk, lots of storage areas and a head down there. Really serves good as a good wet head if you're back here entertaining in the Bahamas. People can go in there all wet without going into your living area. Nice lazarette area for your water toys, whether you got sea bobs, floats, whatever you might have, all that can be stored in there as well. So let's step into the cockpit. One thing as I step through here, you'll notice there's a passerelle that goes off the back here. Uh, nice for when you're getting on and off the boat. A really cool feature that a lot of times you see in the med, uh, but we're seeing it a lot more here in the States as well. Look at this cockpit. What an entertainer's cockpit. When you think about how naturally it flows with all the glass doors open into the salon, great spot to sit under this full length hard top. Nice U-shaped seating really creates a nice spot for two people to lay with their feet out while you're underway or just lounging, waiting on dinner or drinks for the evening. A couple of nice folding chairs. One feature I really like is this power privacy shade that comes back. Imagine being backed up to a dock, you want a little privacy or you got the sun coming in, you just want a little more shade at the end of the evening while you're having dinner. Push of a button, you've got nice privacy and nice shade back here. Here on the port side, nice uh, cockpit refrigerator. And we're gonna save this spot for last, the most beautiful spot on the boat. We're gonna go up uh, next to the fly bridge and check out the upstairs entertainment area. Follow me. Now up here is where all the memories start. Look at this beautiful fly bridge. Nice expansive area, tons of lounging space. Look at this aft fly deck lounge area. Whether you're sitting here cruising while watching the wake, watching the dolphins play behind you while you're on your way down to the Keys of the Bahamas, this is an amazing spot to lounge. Not to mention the fully electric shade that comes out for sunshade right over this aft area. Really makes it to where you can adapt it to either a chill area when you're on anchor with the sunshade open, or you can have it like this. Got your little cocktail table. Just a really great entertaining area. We talked downstairs about the dining area that you can eat. There's one upstairs as well, which is where I prefer to eat most of the time, just due to the fact that you're up here. You got a beautiful breeze. You got beautiful views. Not a better spot on the boat, I think, to have dinner. So as you step here, you'll notice this wet bar. Kenyan grill, really convenient to be able to cook here, serve right over to the table, serve back here to your friends. Refrigerator. And ice maker as well. Great to be able to make those cocktails and drinks right up here on the fly bridge without having to go back down. Fully retractable awning on top. One of the things I love about Asmin is they, there's a lot of duplication in their lower helms and their upper helms. A lot of, especially in the European world, they'll make an abbreviated flybridge helm. This helm has just about everything that your lower helm has. It really makes it nice. Most of the time you're running the boat from up here, unless you're in inclement weather or just getting out of the sun for a while, but everything is up here. Sea keeper controls, quick uh, digital anchor windlass uh, controls. Uh, dual 16 inch Raymarine screens, just a really good layout. Um, this boat does have yacht controller uh, remote docking, uh, which is a really, really neat feature to be able to walk around the boat and get your line of sight no matter where you're at and be controlling the boat. Really is uh, it's kind of like having a first mate on the boat, but in the palm of your hand. So let's, uh, let's go check out the bow area because that's another really magical spot on the boat. So as I make my way to the bow area, first thing you'll notice, I'm six foot five. I feel really safe with these high bow rails. Asmet's always been known for having really safe and secure bow rails. Not only do they look good with the lines of the boat and the profile, it really gives you the ability to feel like you're safe as you walk through. We're in pretty good seas today here in uh, Southwest Florida with some good winds. Luckily, we have the Sea Keeper stabilizer on, which is keeping us from rolling and keeping us nice and stable. Uh, an amazing feature as well. But as we enter this bow area, there's a lot going on here that's kind of hidden. Nice mooring boxes on either side. Great for keeping your fenders and dock lines for when you're up here getting ready to go into a dock. Uh, your mate really has everything throughout the boat where they need it at. Really a great feature on this model. Look at this L-shaped seat or this U-shaped seating here. 
You got a stereo remote here to control your sound up here, volume and input, and everything can be done right there. A nice table. One of the things that's nice is not only do you want this to be a convertible, you might not want it up when you've got a sunshade on the bow up like we've got today, but if you wanted to get some sun, this is a great spot for three or four people to lay out. But then in the evenings, when you just kind of want to sit around with your friends, What a great spot to have face-to-face -face conversation right here on the bow of the boat underneath this sunshade with these carbon fiber poles that support it. This is a really neat spot, especially backed into a marina where you wanna sit and face out into the water. I don't know that there's a better spot to sit and just have a conversation, watch the sunset. Uh, really, really a neat entertainment spot. So let's go check out the inside of this uh, 60 fly azimuth. So here we are in the salon of the 2023 Azimuth 60 Fly. I think you'll see right away why this has been a complete home run model for Azimuth uh, for the past several years. Um, one of the first things that you'll notice when you walk onto plane to see this specific 60 Fly, pretty much any boat can look good in a video or photos, but do they smell good? Are they clean? When you walk on this boat, it feels brand new, it smells brand new, it looks brand new. This is a very lightly used 60 fly azimuth that is spotless. Um, so as we walk through, I think you'll see that even though most videos and photos are gonna show that, uh, this one truly does in person. So nice opposing seating here uh, with beautiful backdrop, like your artwork throughout the glass windows is right through there. We got a beautiful day here in Sanibel and that is your artwork right through that glass. So really a nice layout. TV that comes up here, Bose surround sound system. Nice, again, U-shaped seating to where you can lounge on each end. Uh, really, really a nice layout. As we step up into the dinette, I can tell you that I have two owners that own these and both of them said the same thing. They love how Azmet took that cutout in the gunnel out there, dropped it down so your line of sight will go all the way through. So when you're sitting here doing work at, uh, for the office or you're uh, getting ready to eat or just having your morning coffee or playing cards, you can see that beautiful view right there, right out into the ocean as they cut the window, just like they cut the gunnel of the boat. Really, really a great design feature. This is a great design feature as well. This uh, dining cocktail table is hydraulic, actually goes up and down or electric, goes up and down, folds out to make a big dining table. So when you do want that air-conditioned dinner, that air-conditioned lunch or breakfast, you have the ability to do that by just folding this out and it'll make into a large table. It'll also drop down into a coffee table height as well. So really, really a great area that can adapt for how you wanna use it at that minute of your day. Asma did a great job designing this as well. So as I step here into the galley, very well appointed galley, nice full size fridge, freezer on top, refrigerator on bottom, lots of storage throughout this area here. They really redeemed a lot of storage in this uh, here in the galley. Not only is it a good feature to have as you're in the galley, maybe underway or in seas like we are today, it kind of gives you the ability to lean on this, gives you a little bit of a box down feel here, but also a nice bar top and countertop area uh, to be able to work off of too. Storage all the way down the inside of this. Uh, wine chiller here, melee appliances, both cooktop and convection microwave oven. Uh, storage in this area as well for the captain here next to the helm. So again, we were upstairs on the flybridge and I told you that their lower flybridges pretty much look just like their upper flybridges, which is kind of unique to the brand. Uh, and you can see that again, almost identical as far as features and systems, you're not running up and down. And I talked briefly about that yacht controller. This is it, this is how you're docking the boat. So make your way around the boat. Don't worry about wondering if you're close or wondering if you're clear. This gives you the ability to control the boat from anywhere uh, on board. So really a nice safety feature and uh, takes the anxiety away for the captain to be able to get the boat in and out, even in, uh, even in some wind and seas. So let's go, go downstairs and we'll check out the, uh, the living quarters. So as you make your way down the stairs, the first stateroom that you'll see directly in front of you is the VIP suite. Some people have a hard time distinguishing between the master and the VIP. So your, uh, your favorite guests are gonna love you on board as they nestle into the bow of the boat. Two large hanging closets, a beautiful TV behind a glass mirror. Uh, again, keeping that Italian style, things nice and clean, 
and, uh, and always looking like a piece of artwork. And then as you look towards the head, nice uh, vanity area with the toilet just opposite of the vanity and a large stand-up shower. I'm six foot five. I fit nicely inside of this shower, so definitely not an undersized shower and very well appointed for your guests. Next up, we're gonna head over to the mid-berth, which will have the twin beds in it. So here we are in the mid-berth, which uh, is two twin beds, a nice full-length hanging closet, flat screen TV with Bose sound bar, really nicely appointed for uh, an additional two guests for your third stateroom. And then directly across the landing here is the head. Now this will serve as both your day head for your guests that are on board that are inside and also for the person that's gonna be staying in the third stateroom or the two people staying there. Uh, you'll notice the toilet underneath here from a shower standpoint. Nice area to be able to sit, shave your legs, and get a nice shower in here. And again, six foot five, and still a nice size shower here for your third head on the interior. So as we enter the ensuite master, first thing you'll notice here is this combo washer dryer right here in this hallway space. Great spot for that to be out of the way. And I've said the word magic a lot, but when you have whole side windows that large, that close to the water line, I don't know that there can be a more beautiful piece of artwork over your headboard than what we're looking at right there today. Beautiful blue water, uh, really, really a nice statement. But look at the size of this area. You can tell the Italian style in it with this nice little enclave over the headboard. Kind of matches your headboard curvature. So really just everything fits inside this interior. Nice island side size bed, tons of storage underneath here. Beautiful nightstands with uh, uh, very nice lamps and then across look at this beautiful freestanding kind of floating dresser design that's here on the port side TV that comes up out of the uh, out of the dresser here and then goes away so that again you have that view imagine waking up to that view in the morning uh, after you open up your blackout shades which this boat does have on it as well nice little sitting area uh, right here by all your closet space. A lot of times your shoes and stuff will be in here, so it's nice to be able to sit here. If you want to wear your shoes on the inside and you put them on, you can do that right here. Put your socks on, whatever you might be doing. Uh, really a, a pretty neat little spot, little enclave for you to start the day. And then this head, beautiful head, nice lighting underneath, a big mirror. And again, it kind of, you have that rounded area, kind of pulls in the design that's here over the, over the bed design. And then a nice stand-up shower on the inside right behind the door here. Large shower inside. So I'm Brendan Bailey with Marine Max here in beautiful Fort Myers, Florida. If you'd like to step aboard plane to see this 2023 Azimut 60 fly, please don't hesitate to reach out and call me at 972-670-8211. Thanks, bye-bye.